Hi guys, welcome back. We have a brand new stamp set from Blue Knight Rubber Stamps called the Silhouette Dolphins. Look how fun and pretty. Now this stamp set not only has the whole scene and the large dolphins, but it comes with two smaller dolphins. So if you have any of the other Blue Knight Rubber Stamp sceneries, there's a whole bunch of beach scenes. You can add these two dolphins to any of those scenes. So I did this one with some sparkle inks on watercolor paper. I hope that comes through so you can see it. So of course, you know I gotta do one with pan pastels and I'm thinking, a purple pink sky would look really nice with this so i have my stamp already in my misty i removed the foam out of the misty because it's a red rubber stamp little magnet there and i'm going to stamp in some soft granite ink so this way i have an idea of where my lines are on the stamp but i don't need it to be black right now i just kind of need an outline so we're going to stamp that down and again it's just kind of like a placeholder for us all right, so we can see that. And I know this is in the bottom corner, so when I bring this back into the Misty, it'll stamp in the same spot. We're gonna move the Misty out of the way. And I have two palettes here, and we're gonna be using the Magenta, Magenta Shade, which is a little bit darker, and we're gonna be using the Violet um, colors here, shades here, and maybe some of the blues for the water. But I really want it to be a lot of pink and purple. Kind of like a twilight scene. Normally, you guys know I do your traditional sunrise, sunset. but And then I have a couple sponges here. This is my purple violet sponge. And then I have a clean or cleaner, newer one for my magentas. So I'm going to start off with the lighter magenta. And... This is so easy, guys. You're just going to lay that color down. Then I'm going to go in with the magenta shade, which is darker, and pull that up, almost like an ombre look. And then I'm going to bring the violet in and put that all the way on the top here. And then I'll just go in and blend down. And then as we go into the water, I think I'll add a little bit of the darker blue, just this color here. And that's kind of mixing with the purple, which is fine by me. And we have the lighter magenta that's gonna go in here the magenta shade, which is gonna go in the middle here. And we're gonna end with the violet. Now, of course, you could switch this up and do nice, um, this will turn, you know, you could do like a dark blue in color and then you can add the sky purple, blue, whatever you want to do there. Okay. And I do want to add a little bit of brown in there for the mountains. So I'm going to bring in one of my little my little Jane Davenport baton blenders. You can use a makeup blender. Okay, I have one that already has some brown. I'm gonna do a little bit of brown in my mountains there. And don't worry, when we stamp over it, it'll be covered up. Okay, so now we have our kind of fun evening scene here. Now, if you don't want it very streaky looking, you can go in with some um, Pan Pastels Blender. Um, 
and blend it out. You can also go in with an eraser. If you wanted to do like a sunset, you know, we can always erase that and put a sunset in there. But I think it makes a really fun and easy scene. Now we can go in and stamp over it. And then all you would do is if you have a sentiment, you're going to put your sentiment on there before you use any kind of fixative. And you do want to use a fixative on here because the fixative is going to help keep that pan pastel where it's supposed to be and not move all over the place. I'm going to add a little bit more ultramarine blue down here. I like adding that blue and then we'll go in a little more magenta and just kind of mix it in. Just so there is a, a, a change between the water and the sky. Now over here, you can see my fingerprints are over there. I'm just gonna cut the panel down where that's at so that you don't see that. So we're gonna bring our Misty back in and we are now going to stamp over this. So I'm gonna tuck this back into the bottom left corner put my magnet up here. I'm going to just take a look at my sentiments and see if there's a sentiment I want to add real quick. Of course, there are the birds you can add as well. Like the scripty happy birthday from the best wishes stamp set so we'll have that ready to go i'm going to now ink up my dolphin stamps with my katherine puller midnight ink i have my blue knight rubber stamps handle on there so that i don't drop my ink pad and this ink pad is nice and inky so just very light taps to get that full silhouette image Wow, that pr came out pretty, pretty good. I don't think I need to change anything there. All right, I'm going to clean my stamp off. That will give the ink a second to set in. They have these big, beautiful backer pads you can keep your stamps on and I'm going to see where I want my sentiment but before I stamp my sentiment down which is going to be up here I'm going to um, bring a little piece of acetate in to just test the positioning of it so there's a piece of acetate and I want to stamp my sentiment up here it just says happy birthday And that way, if it's not straight, I can move it. Which I can already see that that is crooked. Okay. All right, my happy needed to move down a little bit. It wasn't so happy. I'm gonna wipe my acetate down here, stamp it again. Still too high on the happy. The happy's too happy. Okay, that's pretty good. So we can now remove our acetate, clean that off, re-ink our sentiment.
that looks pretty good. What a pretty, pretty birthday card. So now all I have to do is cut this panel down to the size that I want. I will mount it on black cardstock and then I will spray it with a fixative and mount it onto a card base. So let me know which one you like better. Do you like the blue moon shimmer one or do you like the pink pastel one? There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will link everything I use down in the description. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.